Hey, this is Alva. Welcome to a new, very interesting tutorial. So we like to boost these uh, waterfall a little bit and create our own animated waterfall uh, within Patoon. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. So we first make a new composition, as always. We make it, uh, in this case, uh, HD. We give him 25 frames a second uh, and the length of, let's say, 10 seconds. That should be fine. And hit OK. So the first thing is we need some text. So let's create a text. Type in WA for waterfall. And what this does, you will see later on. So we position that somewhere around here on the canvas. And we apply Patoon to this. So here we go. We draw. We already have a, a waterfall preset, but we'd like to build that from scratch. So let's put Patoon onto this. And it starts with a checker pattern, and we don't need any texture in this case. So we put the opacity down to zero. And uh, we first go to the uh, displace settings and uh, make it active. Bring it to 100%. And then let's say play with the uh, transform of this. So we go to the transform settings in the displacement and the transform mode is uh, to scale X and Y. And if you increase the distance end, you will see it shoots this away. That's not what we want. We'd like to set that to slide. And then we took these uh, direction center of the slide and you can see now we can slide these displacement here in the down left corner and we are displacing right now from the pattern which is the checker pattern and we'd like to displace from turbulence and this is what we have looks like a little bit of waterfall so let's bring the distance and way more down something around here we will tweak that later and uh, yeah that's the first step so the next is we go to our turbulence settings and we will set that turbulence to noise and give them a frequency of, let's say, seven. That's cool. Okay, so this is what we have. So now it's uh, it's wobbling a, a bit fast, so this is not exactly what we like. We like a little detail in the water here later on, so let's go to the auto animation speed of the turbulence layer and bring this down to, let's say, four. So we have a much smoother movement here and that's fine. So let's shoot pixels from the emitted pixels. But first, let's change the shape of these things here. So we'd like to go with a cloud shape. So we took this one here. And you see nothing. And this is uh, because it's very dense. So. First of all, we will decrease the max shape density to, let's say, 5. We try this and bring the size start of the transform particle section way up to, let's say, 90. So that is much better. So now we have all little pixels here and it's moving fine. Okay, so now we have to shoot pixels from each displaced pixel. So to do so, we go to the particles section. Let's uh, collapse that. And we'd like to have, let's say, five particle elements. That means five times the particles are shooting. Here you see that over time. So now it's moving, but it's not finally the result we'd like to have. So Let's go to auto animation that will shoot the pixels in the slide directions. And let's try 20 and see what happens. So now everything is moving fine. So you see it starts here with the WA and then it falls down and so on. And you get an infinity loop of this uh, pixels here. So we of course like not this uh, flicker effect of the uh, of the letters of the uh, here so we have to tweak that so let's say animate alpha and let's bring the alpha peak to 50 and what this does is it sets the pixels on the beginning to transparent then they will show off until they have no transparency and over time over over space 
they will lose their alpha channel again. So this is what we have so far. That looks quite cool. Let's play with the distance end. We bring this all the way down to here so that we get a very cool fall here. That's nice. Very cool. So um, what you can do is uh, put a directional blur on this thing. So we know this waterfall is coming from down and it's falling downwards. So we go here and go in for a directional blur. And we crank this up to, let's say, 10. And here we go. Let's play with the direction. Let's say 90. Uh, the other way around. Zero was fine. So this is what we have. Looks good. But not perfect. Let's go to the uh, Platoon plugin again. And go down, all the way down, down, down to the overlay, uh, to the output section and switch the output from normal to screen. And now we are adding those particles. So if you now play with the um, turbulence settings, let's say frequency of five, so we get this result. Here we go. And if you increase that to let's say 10, you get this result. So you can tweak those settings. Now let's uh, give them a little bit of texture because uh, right now if we decrease the opacity to zero you will see this is what we get. You got these checker patterns here and let's try some grunge textures over as overlay. Mm, let's say uh, grunge, let's try grunge, let's try uh, this one should give me a good result. And we will scale it down. Here we go. That looks cool. And if you like, you can tint that also a little bit. So we can tint it a bit. So let's say we want some bluish color. Chris Waller's blue, right? And uh, let's give him a, just a touch so that we, you can see this so it's not tinted. And let's a little touch. So we got a little blue bluish color here okay and that's uh, mainly it so now you have your waterfall what you will do of course is make a duplicate of this uh, 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 of this character layer of this uh, types string D so now you get a double and you will to get get a bit more detail you will change in the uh, in the copy of platoon you will change the um, the turbulence let's bring the frequency let's say to five so now we have this and you will see if you play this it's extremely fast and it looks very very natural and now you can pre-compose this and put it into your footage so with both layers selected string shift c on a keyboard move all attributes hit ok and uh, let's bring in this uh, image here and uh, let's drag that to here and you simply draw a rough mask around here so that everything starts here maybe it's fallen down here and getting over there so here we go close this hit mm on the keyboard to give some mask feather let's say 10 pixels should make it and let's make this mask off and here we go very very cool so you can also of course let's grab this text delete that so we have only this text layer you can go to the text with your text tool selected and simply type in water and you get a much bigger waterfall here we go and of course you can pre-compose this so you don't have to do the duplication all the time. You can play with the um, with the turbulence settings. Let's make a duplicate of that. We duplicate that and play with the uh, frequency. Let's bring this up to 10. And here we go. So now we have this uh, looks like this. And, uh, and so on. You can see this T and this E and this R 
is a very uh, very um, uh, strong so it looks not natural to tweak that I will first of all delete this layer go back to my text layer undo the platoon and of course also undo the directional blur and I will draw a shape around here so I like this one here I only like these little things here and what I can do now is I go to my platoon settings and pipe in the mask of this layer okay and switch it back on so now I only have this details and I can play with the details here and I can bring them up and get more of this here so you can see you can tweak this bring in some details or reduce some details so this is up to you what you like let's fill these edges out that's not exactly what I'd like to here we go let's fill these ed uh, these edges and so on and so on so this is how you can um, build up your own waterfall you can pre-render them uh, of course you have an alpha channel here we go so everything has an alpha channel so you can save them as a uh, MOV file or whatever and uh, create your own uh, waterfall whatever uh, nice uh, and of course you can do so also um, forgot one thing uh, you can build from that if you like some smoky dust things here some falling dust from from uh, from wherever you like uh, because if you like to change the uh, direction so you have to go to the uh, display settings and as you remember we had the slide and the direction center of the slide sits here so if you go over there you can play around with these so you can shoot this in every direction okay so but if you go here and increase the pixel size or the shape size even more so let's go to the size at start on 200 and by the end also all the way up and give some more dense to this you will get this result and now hold on if you do a box blur and crank this up so let's say something around here that looks cool and uh, we go back to our platoon and we bring the density of the shape a bit down let's say try seven and if you replay this it's even fast and you get this smoky thing here going on so in case you like to have smoke and water duplicate the unit keyboard I go to the uh, upper thing here and just get rid of my fast box blur and I will reduce again the uh, shape density to 3 I have my waterfall and I have very cool dust below this thing so imagine what you can do it's up to you and you see it's uh, extremely fast rendering here even in full resolution um, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tip tutorial and have fun playing around with Platoon. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!